Mrs. Coulter was not inclined to let go of any possession, especially so valuable a treasure as this little girl. Lyra was pursued and would have been caught. But help arrived from an unlikely source. Egyptians. Her new friends would not only protect her from the long arm of Mrs. Coulter, but welcome her as family. Marcosta. And so it was, during her meeting with John Farr and Father Coram, that Lyra first attempted to read the alethiometer. The Master of Jordan gave me this. It's an alethiometer. You got three hands you can control. By pointing at three symbols, you can ask any sort of question you can imagine. Once you've got your question framed, this other needle points to more symbols that give you the answer. Can I try? What are you doing, Lyra? You don't know how to read it. Hush, Pam. A difficult task at best. A fool's errand without decades of practice and a host of manuals. Lyra performed the impossible without a moment's doubt. Don't worry, little one. It happens to everyone first time out of water. As soon as you're feeling well enough, Father Coram would like to speak with you. He's in the meeting room below decks. getting on here, Lyra? Just fine, thanks. Pan likes the sea a lot. Well, carefully doesn't like it too much, or he may end up settling as a dolphin or some such, and then you're never going to see dry land again. No. That can't really happen, can it? <laughs> no, I'm just having you on. It's happened to a sailor or two, but you ain't tied enough to the sea to worry about it. I don't care what Lord Far and Far Decorum say. A rescue mission ain't no place for a little girl. Look at that sky. You ever see anything like that before? I've never even left England. This is amazing. It's a huge world out there, Lyra. I've been traveling it most of my life and ain't seen but a piece.
Hello there, Lyra. Are you feeling better? A little, thanks. Have you had much opportunity to practice with the alethiometer yet? I'm trying, but it's hard to figure out what all the symbols mean. That's the trick, isn't it? Even with a gift like yours, it could still take a lifetime to understand all the meanings. Do you know any of them? Only a few. Take the hourglass, for example. Its first meaning is obvious. Time. But it also has a second, deeper meaning. Death. That's not too hard. Not all of them are so straightforward, though. What do you think the apple means? Knowledge. I already learned that one. Yes, but it has another meaning as well. Sin. Okay, that makes sense. When you see a symbol, understand the context and associate the symbol with the meaning. Try it now with this apple. So, if I see something that matches a symbol from the alethiometer, I might be able to understand a new meaning. Precisely. There may only be 36 symbols, but for all we know, their meanings are limitless. You're bound to uncover new meanings all the time, and the more you understand, the easier it will be to read the alethiometer. If I can ever focus for more than a few minutes without getting sick. <laughs> yes, of course. Why don't you go back to the deck and speak with Jerry? I think he'll have just the thing to help you get your sea legs. Lyra, I don't want to feel sick anymore. Can we go talk to Jerry? Ness, is there anything you're doing I can help you with? No, but I bet there's something I can help you with. After your run-in with the gobblers in London, I thought you could use a few lessons on self-defense. Ooh, like karate? I've always wanted to learn that. <laughs> Not exactly. More along the lines of how to avoid people trying to collect the GOB's reward. You ready to do a little sparring? One of these might come in handy. Not fair. I'm just trying to help. No way! Oh, I'm about to spirit you off somewhere horrible. Whoa! Ooh, I wouldn't have liked that. And come here, you. Oh no! Fight, Lyra. Whoa! <sighs> Ooh, I wouldn't have liked that. And... Come here, you! No way! Fight, Lyra! Whoa! <sighs> Ooh, I wouldn't have liked that. And... Come here, you! <laughs> That's it! Not fair. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> ah, nicely done. And... Come here, you! Whoa! And... Come here, you! Whoa! <laughs> Easy as pie. <laughs> None too shabby, Lyra. Now come talk to me again if you feel you need more practice. And if you want Pantalaemon to learn as well, Adamo here will be happy to help. I could use one of these.
Good work, Ben. Lyra might be able to learn a thing or two from you. Finally, somebody else recognizes that. Do you feel any better? Be careful. Don't let me catch you. It's definitely helping, but my head still hurts. Which one I guess will work I could do best. something else. Not fair. I'm just trying to help. That's it. Not fair. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> That's it. Not fair. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I can barely. Kick that up and they'll never catch you. <laughs> no one can catch Lyra the Great. It looks like you're pretty good at this. I don't know if there's any more I can teach you. Why'd you press so hard to go north, Lyra? I've always wanted to go, since I can remember. Because my uncle spent so much time there. But now, mostly I want to help rescue those kids. If there's anything I can do, I have to do it. I'll tell you, I've heard a lot of reasons for doing just about anything. But that's the best of them. Father Coram said you might have something to make me feel better. Aha! <laughs> just a thing, in fact. Swab on the deck. I was hoping it was more like some medicine. That's the best medicine there is. Nothing gets your sea legs under you faster than a little hard work. Oh, boy. Head to the rear deck. You have to go up the ladder over the engine room. You'll find a mop back there. Sounds a bit fishy to me. And while you're busy with that, you might ask some of the others if they need any help. There's never a shortage of tasks to be done on board a ship. Jerry say the mop was on the rear deck. What are you doing over here? I'll tell you, but you have to promise not to say anything. Sure. See, me and Deanira was exploring since we never been on a ship this big before. But she got tangled in the rigging and now can't get down. And you can't leave because she's up there. She's got to come down sometime, but we've already been here going on an hour. Pan and I could help you, couldn't we? Of course. I certainly wouldn't like to be stuck up there. Really? I sure appreciate this, you two. This isn't so bad. Certainly is a far cry from the luxury of Mrs. Coulter's flat. I'd swab a thousand decks with my tongue before I'd go back to that awful place.
You know, Lyra, even though no Egyptian would dare turn you in, there are plenty of folks out there who'd gladly take the Oblation Board's reward money. You don't need to tell me twice. I've had enough of being kidnapped for one lifetime. The best way for you to go unnoticed in the North is for you to pass as Egyptian child. Most folks don't give us a second glance. So, should I borrow some clothes, or...? Being Egyptian ain't all about the way you dress. Now, I notice you've been picking up our way of speech on your own, but you're gonna have to think on your feet if anyone talks to you. I've heard you're a fair hand at fooling people already, though. Well, Mark Osta did say I was deceptive. <laughs> she paid you quite a compliment, then. Come on, let's see you in action. Pretend I'm a landloper inquiring into your business. One of these might come in handy. The Magisterium won't recognize me if I'm with you guys, right? They'll think I'm Egyptian. Not if you keep up like last time. Let's try again. Greet me like Egyptian would. Here we are, you landloper. How's the business treating you? Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what you sound like, actually. Best practice and give it another try. Ah, uh, Lyra! Care to try again at fooling old Alphonse? Let's see. What do we have here? The Magisterium won't recognize me if I'm with you guys, right? They'll think I'm Egyptian. Not if you keep up like last time. Let's try again. Greet me like Egyptian would. That's never Alphonse, is it? Good to see you, old son. Well done, young lady. If I didn't know better, I'd have thought you were one of Ryan Van Dien's children. I need something. Fast. So, do you think I could pass for Egyptian now? Not quite yet. We Egyptians are sailors, and there's a very important part of being a sailor. Swearing. Now, let's see how you do. You seaweed um, face. I'll puzzle you yet. Seaweed face? Oh, come on now, Lyra. You're not even trying. What would you say if the ship had run aground? You squid heads. We're on the blasted rocks now because of you squabs. Well, I suppose if that's your best, it'll have to do. Let's see. What do we have here? You know, Alphonse, turns out I have Egyptian blood in me after all. That's so. Which family do you come from? My grandmother was cousin to the head of the Hartman family. Your grand must have known some of my parents' friends. Good family, that. How did you end up in Oxford, then? My grandmother moved there after her husband died. And after what happened to my parents, I was placed in the charge of Jordan College. Stands to reason. Hard to keep Egyptian in one place too long. So, what are you doing back on the water? I 
I've always loved the water, since I was a little girl. So as soon as I got my first chance, I stowed away on a ship. And here I am. Oh, colour me impressed, little one. I know better and I'd still swear you was one of us. The Magisterium will never guess you used to be a little scamp from Oxford. How are you getting on here, Lyra? Just fine, thanks. Pan likes the sea a lot. Well, carefully doesn't like it too much, or he may end up settling as a dolphin or some such, and then you're never going to see dry land again. No. That can't really happen, can it? <laughs> no, I'm just having you on. It's happened to a sailor or two, but you ain't tied enough to the sea to worry about it. Hmm. Which to choose? Um, I'm supposed to ask if you can ask the engine room to stop the smoke in the rear stack for a little while. <laughs> now why on earth would I do that? See, I... Well, I'm supposed to do something, so I need you to turn the smokestack off so I can do it. Well, that doesn't sound like something I'm going to do. And anyway, then what? You planning on climbing the stack? Sure. It ain't much for me. Why, I was the Jordan College climbing champion three years running. That's impressive. Really, it is. But Father Coram wouldn't be too happy with me if something happened to you. I only have to go up a little and I'll have the grill to hold on to. I'll be low enough that I won't get hurt even if I do fall. All right. I'll pass the message along to the engine room. But promise me you'll be careful up there now.
first you're too ill to stand, now you're pretending you're in the circus. Quiet, you. I'm concentrating. Wow, Jerry was right. I do feel better. That's good, for both of us. Let's go see what Father Coram wanted us to do. Thanks a lot, you guys. I don't know what I would have done otherwise. I'm sure Deanira has learned her lesson as well. We're happy to help. Speak for yourself. I'll be pulling rope out of my teeth for days. Why do demons have to settle at all? Well, your demon's a part of you. And when you're young, you want to be a million different things. Get a bit older and you start focusing on the things you love most, and your demon follows suit. But I want Pan to be able to change forever. I remember feeling like that when I was a boy. But there's something nice about it when your demon settles. It lets you know a lot about yourself somehow. Ah, Lyra. It looks like Jerry's medicine did the trick. I feel much better, thank you. Do you think you could read the alethiometer now? I think so. What do you want me to ask? As you know, Lyra, your disappearance caused quite a stir back in London. The authorities are looking all over for you, but we've taken it upon ourselves to keep you safe. In order to do that, we need to know what Mrs. Coulter is planning. Okay. I'll try and figure it out.
This one's hard. I'll have another go soon. Rocha is a spy, and spies have to be cunning. Maybe like a serpent. Why'd you pick that one? Because bees are always working hard. And if you're a spy, you have to work hard. Plus you use cunning, and then you learn something. Let's see if it works.
Don't worry, Lyra. You'll figure it out. Stand now.
Aha. I can't understand the answer. There are so many symbols. I think it's trying to tell me danger is approaching. I'm sorry, but I just don't know, Lyra. Maybe one of the other sailors can help you. use one of these. times. I can't understand the answer. There are so many symbols. I think it's trying to tell me danger is approaching. I'm sorry, but I just don't know, Lyra. Maybe one of the other sailors can help you. Haven't you been in enough trouble for one day? You ought to get to your cabin like Lord Far told you. Ain't you scared of coming with us, Lyra? No, not really. It's okay if you are. There ain't nothing wrong with being scared. Not of something like this. Are you scared? <laughs> no, not really. Well, I'm certainly glad to be finished up there. That was more than enough excitement for one day. It's not fair. I just got used to being on a ship and now I'm stuck in my room. Don't worry. It probably won't be long before we get to Trollers End anyway. It was this night that Lyra and I first met.
she was certainly pleased. Who are you? But I could live another thousand years and never forget that moment. Father Coram wishes to know where the child cutters take their prey. Egyptian vessel! Stop your engines and prepare to be boarded! Official magisterial business! Lyra, what are you doing up here? You're supposed to be hiding below. There was a witch. A real witch. She was flying and everything. She gave me a message for Father Coram. Never mind that now. Head for the rear deck and keep out of sight. I'll see if I can't cut this visit from the inspector Stay away short. from the light! In the spotlight! Never mind that now. Head for the rear deck and keep out of sight. I'll see if I can't cut this visit from the inspector short. Good evening, Inspector. I dare say we didn't expect you at this hour, but I'm sure I can still muster up your... Ahem... <clears throat> fees? I'm afraid that won't be the case this time. The Eurasian Board's insisting that every boat be thoroughly checked, and the reward they're offering is a... If we stay here, they're going to find us. Oh, no. I left the alethiometer in the meeting room. We have to get down there before they find it. Are you trying to get caught? She is! Ah! What the? You there! I'll teach you! Oh. Oh. We could use the snow to snuff out his light. Ah! What the? You there! I'll teach you! Use the snow to snuff out his light. Are you? Oh, for crying out loud. Coming with. Have you got a light? Mine's gone out. I can't believe that worked. You're lucky he's a bit thick. out loud. Coming with. Have you got a light? Ah! What the? You there! I'll teach you! We could use the snow to snuff out his light. Are you? Oh, for crying out loud. Coming with. Have you got a light? Mine's gone out. I can't believe that worked. You're lucky he's a bit thick. Who 
What's happened to it? Some snow must have fallen onto it from the masts. Fell, or someone knocked it loose. Have a climb up and check. This whole exercise is pointless. What's the board want with this girl anyhow? Who knows? Maybe Coulter just really likes that kid. That lady doesn't like anyone, especially children. Have you been below the offices recently? Shh! Do you want one of these Egyptians to hear you? Keep your mouth shut and let's get this nonsense over with. Did you hear something? Above the engine room. I'll climb up and check it out. The inspector will see us. Stay behind the crate while it's sliding. What's that? Oh, just a crate. Officer for the Magisterium. Ugh. There better be something here to make it worth my while. Maybe we could try distracting this one too. Right on his old rigs. Ah, it's broken. As if it weren't dark enough in here already. Why aren't you on deck with the others? See, I was, Why uh... is that light off? Never mind. I've already gone through this room, so we're done here. Yes, sir. Get moving. We've got a long night ahead of us. Uh, 
Thank you for your cooperation. Present these documents when you register with the Port Authority in Trollison. Oh, absolutely, Inspector. Best of luck with the search.